We are following breaking news out of South Nashville this afternoon where a motorcyclist was hit and killed by a train. News Channel 5's Todd Walker is live there from the scene right along Hermitage Avenue. Now we do know, Todd, witnesses say it seemed like the biker was actually trying to beat the train. That's right, and the driver of that motorcycle did not beat the train. Hermitage Avenue is back open now, but it was closed for several hours as police investigators tried to figure out exactly what happened here. This happened around noon today as cars and trucks were stopped waiting for a train engine to cross. It's uh, just before Hermitage intersects with Fessler's. Witnesses say the lights and the bells were going off at this train crossing, but it does not have a crossing arm. Trains go through this area constantly and very slowly. Witnesses told us the motorcycle driver likely saw the train at the last second. And we heard an engine throttle up uh, like he was accelerating, so we both looked down at the tracks uh, to see what was going on and uh, saw a motorcycle approaching at a high rate of speed, slam on his brakes, and then by that point we couldn't see him because of the train, uh, but we heard the impact of his motorcycle hitting the side of the train. The name of the driver of that motorcycle has not yet been released. We're told that he was taken to the hospital and was pronounced dead there. Metro police are expected to release some sort of update for us very shortly, and we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. But I want to show you what the problem is with this uh, with this train crossing here. Take a look at some video that we shot about 30 minutes ago. It uh, shows a train that came through and stopped with the last car so that it was halfway on the crossing. After waiting for just a few minutes with lights and bells going, the line of cars and trucks started crossing behind the train. That includes two Two Metro police officers. We almost saw a few head on collisions as, as uh, cars tried to squeeze through in opposite directions. We're told this happens multiple times a day uh, as trains come through here uh, fairly regularly and uh, cars actually get impatient. We heard cars in the line here honking at each other to trying to get them to actually go behind that train. So we'll have an update for you uh, at 5 o'clock and where we hope to ha have more uh, information on what caused this uh, train crash. We're live in South Nashville tonight. I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD.